All right, cactus of the day. I'm starting to move the plants out of the greenhouse. It is necessary. It's not that it like, I would love to keep them inside, but I I don't have space. I already have seedlings from, from winter that I want to place exactly here where these are. So I move these outside in the next days. And these. So I have space for the new seedlings. These are old enough to survive and maybe flower. Like they don't need a special special spot in the sun. So they will be alright. And yeah. Emptying out the greenhouse. Cleaning everything up. And making everything ready. These are already outside so I don't have to water them. It will rain on them. Lots of plants here too. Slowly adapting them to the sun. First time watering yesterday in this greenhouse. And now I move all the plants out of the other greenhouse that are in the way. So I can get to the plants and water. Let's have a look. I already brought these outside. If it gets cold again I will need to cover them. Like with, I don't know, with bubble wrap or with blankets, everything that keeps the frost away. And yeah, in here I need to make way. I need to create an entry into this part of the greenhouse because I want to be able to check on the plants over there, make sure that they are all right. I am sure there will be minor problems here and there. So it will be a little bit of work. I will start with these and then I can move plants around left and right. And then we'll see how we, how we continue. All right, it's getting better. I removed all the small plants from this part. This is where I put the larger plants, simply because the greenhouse is the highest there. Um, working with a greenhouse with this plant is not great with this type of columnar cacti, but I'm making the best out of it. I simply can't afford a taller one. So I just got to do what I got to do. So I make it work, yeah. And here I made an entry port. This is where I can water. I will water them until the first flower buds are showing. And when they are flowering, I'll move them all outside. Check this out. The one on the right, super amazing plant. Love it. And yeah, I will start watering and fertilizing today. Now that I have a little bit space to work, this will be no problem. These will all flower in a few months, in a couple of months. And the columnar cacti, hopefully too. You never know with these. Sometimes they flower, sometimes they don't. I usually have like five, six plants that are flowering of the large ones every year. You, um, you never know. The problem is that I got to cut them once they reach the roof, you know. And that's exactly the size they need to be to flower. So... Um, it's always you get them to flower for a couple of we couple of years and then you need to take the tip off. But yeah, small greenhouses over here. It's getting cold in winter and they need to be well insulated and this stuff costs a lot of money. So um, I built this one in 2019 and another one in 2018. This is the first one that I built. Not huge, but it doesn't cost much to heat them in during the winter. You know, when you have cold winter time, you always need to be concerned about the heating costs. It just, I used to be super poor and had problems heating my own house. And it's, it's great that I can afford heating these small greenhouses. It's just a lot of money these days to pay for electricity. That's why I use small greenhouses. They don't cost that much to heat and they heat up very, very fast during winter. And yeah, that's why I have so many plants in my greenhouses. Earlier I brought a load of ladybugs into the greenhouse today. Like they are currently storming the house. And I collected them all and brought them here inside to make sure they can deal with the pests. Natural pest um, destroyer. And these are already outside. 
it's a lot of bright sun now so they will definitely a few will definitely get sunburned but i don't care i don't uh you know they need to harden up otherwise they will not survive in this environment survival of the fittest cactus yeah and now i will water and fertilize everything i have enough space to work this will be enough for now and um, i'll continue tomorrow every day a little bit 